Welcome to Parchment Update, an interview series from the Parchment Community Library to bring your community closer to you. I'm Karen Woodworth, Library Ambassador. I'm joined today by Karen Heasley. We're going to talk about Bingo for Designer Bags, a fundraiser for Parchment's Kindleberger Arts. Thank you for being here today. Well, thanks, Karen. I appreciate the opportunity to uh, let people know about our big fundraiser for the Kindleberger Festival. Yeah, yeah, and it just happened um, pretty much last weekend. I enjoyed attending the event the last two years, but for those who haven't attended, please talk us through what happens at Bingo for Bags. Okay, so uh, if you're lucky enough to get a ticket, because we sell out in about five days when we put the tickets up for sale, uh, if you get a ticket, you will be entertained for an evening that starts usually around five o'clock with um, coming in, getting some food, purchasing some bingo cards. With your ticket, you get one set of 20 cards. We play 20 games. You get tw uh, 20 cards, and then you also get a dabber and um, the opportunity to get some food. We offer um, beer and wine or soft drinks or water. That's all included in on your ticket. And then at six o'clock sharp, or sometimes it doesn't happen at six o'clock sharp because it's hard to get that many women to quiet down. But when we finally do start, um, we play uh, all together 20 games of bingo, but we play 10 and then we take about a 15 minute break and pay, play 10 more. So for each um, game, we offer a beautiful designer bag many of which are donated by um, businesses or individuals um, to support our fundraiser. And um, every other bingo game, we have a second bag. It's usually a little bit smaller bag, but whoever bingos first on that game gets to pick which one of the two they'd like. And then the next person to bingo will get the uh, other bag. So that's how we play. Then we also have uh, designer baskets that people donate all different kinds. And um, you can purchase prize tickets and put your little tickets in boxes to win those. And then after we've played our 20 games of bingo, we draw tickets out uh, to give those prizes away. There's just so much excitement in the room. And I especially appreciate that it's not all just the regular bingo format. That's right. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, uh, well, I'm going to brag a little bit. The MC happens to be our oldest son, John, and um, he has a way about bringing people in uh, in a lot of different ways. Like uh, if you remember, Karen, last Saturday night, one of the things he asked for is who's the first person that has a crayon in their purse? And I mean, this lady like dashed up there. I couldn't believe she had the crayon in her hand, you know, and then uh, also if there's a tie. They have a way of breaking the tie. And um, if you were the person that didn't win the tiebreaker, you get to pick a wallet. So um, it, it, there's always a prize involved. So it's fun. Yeah, those those are great prizes. And, you know, I'm, I'm tempted to just stick a crayon in my purse now. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what the other item was. Oh, what? wasn't it? Uh, receipts. <laughs> what was it? Costco receipts. That's right, a Costco receipt. That lady dashed pretty fast, too. <laughs> and I think there were also prizes for the oldest participant and for the right. youngest participant. So someone that was 85 years old, that lady was. And then we had um, two sisters that came from uh, Alliance, Ohio, which was well over 200 miles. So um, that, that was fun, too. So, yeah. He, he mixes it all up so that you don't get bored if you if you aren't winning so <laughs> yeah yeah and along with along with doing the horizontal vertical and diagonal bingos you also did four corners and then I like those personal touches of the games where you had to form the letter P on the bingo board right or K for Kendallberger yeah right right so yeah um one of the things I'd like to say about this year's um uh, party that we had, um, you know, we, we get um, beautiful bags donated from several different people, but each year we look at what bag we think is the premium bag, the most beautiful bag, um, and we keep that as the last one for game 20, and it's kind of like our feature bag, and this year 
Um, Leslie and Ken Huff from Parchment Service Center donated that beautiful bag. And the really neat part is, is that Ken goes out and shops and buys the bag. Leslie does not go with him. And when I went down to pick it up, he showed it to me and he said, I purchased this one because the color is parchment. And I just thought that was so nice that he takes such an interest in, in this event. So yeah, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that really is. It's fun and it's very exciting. And 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 like you said, you end with the raffle and um, mm -hmm. there's a number of baskets. I don't even know how many baskets you had. I think this we year. had 28 this year. That's okay. the most that we've had. So, yeah. Right. Um, and you had a very, very good turnout. How many people attended this year? Uh, this is our largest year and we had 297 ladies. And then of course we have the men who do the waiting on the ladies, uh, getting drinks and that kind of thing for them or watching their bingo card while they use the restroom. So we had 12 of those. So, you know, we're, we're right up there around uh, 315 people that are there, so. All right, and of course, as fun, much fun as it is, we don't want to lose sight of the fact that it is a fundraiser for Kindleburger Arts. So how much was raised this year and what does it fund? Well, this year is, again, our biggest year. Um, we are happy to say we raised $9,637 in some odd cents this year, uh, surpassed last year by $3,000. Dollars. So um, that money goes all to the Kindleburger Arts Commission. They use it to help pay for the free Sunday evening concerts in the park. Um, we also have a lot of expenses with festival where, you know, we, we rent certain tents and that kind of thing. So it all of that money goes for the festival. Well, that's wonderful. It's, it's just wonderful to see so much support for the festival and the Sunday concerts. Um, and congratulations on, on that record-breaking number there. Thank you. And as I've been talking about um, the event with people this week, the question that keeps coming up is, when will next year's Bingo for Designer Bags be held and how can people get tickets? <laughs> well, uh, we have the date reserved. Uh, the Fountains Banquet Center donates the space to us, which is a huge savings right there. And that gives them the opportunity to be one of the primary sponsors for the festival. So um, we already have signed a contract for next year for March 16th, 2024. And to get tickets, um, the best I can say is we will start selling tickets in January. They will be announced on the Facebook page, this um, KendallBurgerArts.org Facebook page. And I also send out an email to people who have attended in the past. So this year we're not doing uh, pre-sale tickets like we did, or next year we're not. Uh, this year we let people buy tickets like in um, April for the next year. And it really cut down on how many people had the opportunity to attend. The majority of the people that came this year were repeats from last year because they had that opportunity to get in early. So um, we're going to try to make it a little bit more fair. So uh, the way we do it is when the money's in the hand, you get the tickets. So. <laughs> All right. So next January, people should watch the Facebook. Page. That's right. Yep. Yep. So. And and I should point out it's a public Facebook page, so even if you don't have a Facebook account, you can you can see the information, right? Right, right. Yeah, and I think it'll be on the city website too, and probably on the new uh, electronic marquee. So, okay. Well, before we wrap up today, what else would you like us to know? Well, I I think the the history of this particular fundraiser is kind of interesting. Uh, the way it started out. Um, our granddaughter, Sydney, was playing golf at Adrian College, and they had a similar fundraiser. They just called it Bingo for Bags, and um, our daughter-in-law, Julie, and I went to it, and um, we brought home, you know, the schedule that they had or the different games they had and that kind of thing. It was on a much, much smaller scale than we are doing, and we had that stuff sitting around collecting dust for about a year and a half. And all of a sudden, one day, Julie said, you know what, Mom? I think it's time for us to do a bingo for bags for the KAC. 
And I said, oh, I don't know. That looks to me like a lot of work. She said, oh, we can do it. So the first year we put it together, that was in 2018, we had 124 ladies. We sold out in uh, two and a half days. We did it at St. Ambrose. They donated the hall to us. And um, we made, I think it was a little bit over $2,000. And so it has grown in the last four years to almost 300 people and making 9,600 and some odd dollars. So. Well, thanks to both you and Julie for um, all the work that you went through to put that event together. And um, also to all the sponsors and people who helped with, with the whole event. Um, it truly was a fun event. And thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me about it today and give us the inside scoop on when tickets will go on sale next year. Okay, you're welcome. And thanks for the invite.